So imagine this. If you were to go to, for example, China, what you would see is lots and lots of people just standing in assembly lines, visually doing a lot of small, small things. And these are not the jobs you would, anybody would willingly do unless they really needed a job of some kind. My vision of the future is human beings should be freed from doing these kinds of things. We are building this technology which is completely based on computer vision uh, and we are first putting it in cafeterias where you come in with your tray, you put your tray in this kiosk, immediately it will tell you everything that it is, that, that's on your tray. You swipe your card and you go in and out in 5 seconds. Once upon a time we used to use humans for all kinds of uh, manual labor. But then the industrial revolution happened, we invented machines that could do the manual labor and look at where that's propelled our society. So when it comes to mass gym, the way I see it is that today we use humans in a lot of places where, which are vision-based tasks, where we only use humans just because they can see and understand. And I believe that another level of civilization upgrade would happen if only computers could do this job. If computers could completely take over this entire part of doing all the place, of doing all the tasks where vision is necessary and I think that's exactly what Bastion tries to do. We're starting with the area of checkout which quite honestly is a very unskilled and low paying job for cashiers. Uh, for a human it's just a very wrong kind of job to do. It's like you spend 10 hours a day just pretty much moving items from one place to the next. I think it's time we automate that. We used to think of this as an automation solution, but we figured when we put this machine in YC for a month that people really loved us and people really loved us for the speed and the customer experience that we gave them. So now I'm a convert. I believe in the fact that people need to be able to connect to this machine and the trust is a very important part of that. When they use it, if we can build that trust with them, that would be a parameter of success for us as well in a way. The jury is still out as to like how many skeptics remain after they use it. But in our limited tests, anybody who used it uh, very soon did like, fall, like form this bond of trust to the point where we notice people not even looking at the prize anymore. Just throwing the items, swiping the card and going. And sometimes they were like, oh, did you check the prize? And they were like, oh, no, I forgot that. But that's because I know it's accurate. So that trust is what will ultimately defeat the skepticism. Is huge, it's potentially huge. So for example, if you think about airports and there's a person just literally looking at your baggage for all the suspicious looking items, that's slow, that's why there are lines. Sometimes people miss their planes because of this. Using this technology, even that can be automated. So why not? That is the future like industrial applications where the technology today is extremely it has it needs an extremely constrained environment with very uniform lighting and these really half a million dollar cameras we want to change that we want to make it like really commodity stuff and i think we have the technology to, to do that it's only a matter of how fast we can get there <laughs>